Hey guys. Today we are doing a giveaway. But before we get into that, we wanna share with you what just happened. So we've been at this rally for the last week and we stayed here a few extra days. We've been working on the video of the rally. And yesterday, actually last night, in the middle of trying to finish it, my laptop died. Uh, actually the battery died and I can't recharge it anymore. So I have a MacBook and I called support and the best that they can do is I have to bring it in and they're gonna try to fix it in the shop, but the nearest shop is two and a half hours away in California. So we couldn't finish the video from last week, so that's why we decided to do this video. Uh, also, we hit 4,000 subscribers, so we figured it was perfect timing and we wanted to give something back to you guys for supporting us. Yay! Time to hit the road. So we're gonna get on the road, we're gonna to head to California now. We have to be there by three o'clock. So we had to stop and get some water before we headed off. We were staying on BLM land and we paid $40 for two weeks, which gave us unlimited use of water, dumping, and trash, which was really helpful. And that's very cheap. So in regards to videos, I think what we're gonna have to do over the next couple weeks is use our phones and our, our new iPad Pro, which we'll talk about more in a minute, to make videos. So they're gonna be a little bit more basic. Um, we don't have all of the, the tools and templates that we normally have. I usually use Adobe Premiere. Um, or Final Cut Pro. So we're gonna be using the iPad to do that, but we should still be able to get some videos out, maybe a little shorter, a little simpler. words about our giveaway. We are super thankful for you guys. We recently reached 4,000 subscribers, which is amazing. We we're not expecting that, uh, not at all. <laughs> so we would like to give something back to you. And it's going to be two t-shirts that we were able to make ourselves. And just a quick story about all of this. I have a passion for drawing. So I've been drawing my whole life and I recently got an iPad Pro and I was practicing here and there and I get inspired with our lifestyle and I drew a couple truck campers. I showed my art to one of my friends and she loved them. She told me that she wishes she could buy a t-shirt with my design. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. Maybe some other people would like to do the same. So that's how I created our website, which is travelmotivated.com. Right now we have several t-shirts there. So what we would like you to do is to go to our website, which is travelmotivated.com and you need to pick two t-shirts and let us know down in the comments uh, the name of the t-shirts that you would like to get with the colors of the t-shirt that you would like to get followed by the hashtag which is stonyboot 4k giveaway we will randomly select the winner in seven days starting from today and yeah good luck to everyone and let us know in the comments what you'd like to get
So we are here in California and I absolutely love this look of mountains in the distance, palm trees, desert scenery. It's just absolutely beautiful out here. It's such a huge difference from where we just were in Quartzsite. Uh, everything's all concrete and flowers and trees and sidewalks. It's been about two hours of driving. So this is my laptop, this is what I make all our videos on, and uh, it still works, but I don't know if it'll do it now. When I turn it on, no, now it won't come on at all. Oh, wait, maybe, here we go. So it just shows dead battery, and when I plug it in, it doesn't work. I tried three different chargers, and what we determined that these little ports that you charge and connect all your stuff through failed. So. We just got here, we've been driving uh, close to three hours. We stopped, got something to eat, and uh, so now we're going to be going to the Apple Store in about like 15 minutes. And it should be as simple as drop it off. I don't think they're going to be able to fix it in the store. They said maybe, which I've done this a lot at my previous job and they never do. They always ship it into Apple. So that means that we're going to probably hang out in this area. If it's going to be more than like a week, they said that they'll ship it to wherever we want. So if we decide that we wanted to pick up and go somewhere else, we can figure out where we're gonna be in a couple weeks and then let them know and they'll ship it there. So that means for the next couple weeks, we're gonna be experimenting with using this. It's an iPad Pro. See if I can open it up. Kind of like a laptop, comes with a pencil, keyboard. It's not quite as powerful as my laptop for editing videos, but it'll certainly do the job. So we're gonna be experimenting with that. We'll see how it goes. You'll have to let us know what you think of the videos over the next couple weeks, between now and when I can get my old laptop back. But uh, that's our situation. And this is also what Sasha uses to make all of the t-shirt designs. And we've done a lot of reading about using these and other tablets, and this thing is absolutely amazing for drawing on and any kind of creative work. So it's been a huge asset to us, and we've only had it for, what, like a, a month now or so. So it's pretty powerful. We love it. I'm actually looking forward to the next generation coming out. I might have to get that and start making videos with just the iPad. Because uh, my laptop consumes a lot of power, and these things are very power efficient. It's dirty. I told you so. You should clean it. You go clean it. No. I'm going to put it in the sink and wash it. With soap? Let's, yeah. Is it waterproof, I wonder? So anyways, we're going to go to the Apple Store and we'll bring you along and see what we can record in there. You know, we don't really like to put the camera in people's faces, but we'll try to record the general process. So we're parked along the street here. Really pretty. Even all this stone is all raked out. And I wanted to point out some... Uh, some precision parking right here. I'm just barely touching the curb, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So we're gonna make our way down to the Apple Store, but before we do that, we're gonna check out whatever we can see. Beautiful town. Quite a difference in scenery. Uh, instead of just dry desert, there's, you know, civilization <laughs> with sidewalks and beautiful flowers and beautiful buildings. And what we expected is it's kind of in a mall. We were thinking like a big, giant mall complex, but it's really just a bunch of stores along the street in a, I don't know, a very nice but quaint town. And then all the sidewalks. They have all these paintings on them. So what was the name of this? Oh, this is Desert Palms, California. Really pretty. A lot of uh, Lexuses and Mercedes. And Is that would be Lexi? Lexi. A lot of Lexis. Yeah. Do you lock the door? What? I can't breathe. Yeah. Okay. We're always paranoid about locking things, and sometimes we don't remember, and we have to walk back to make sure we locked it. Get a mask up.
Johnny was what? So we get the distinct feeling that we don't generally fit in here. It's a, it's a very um, aesthetically pleasing place, beautiful, but I just feel like uh, if we yeah. had some more cash, that might be uh, or a better fit. <laughs> or several homes yeah. in the hills. Beautiful place, but yeah, I don't think we can afford any of these stores. Luckily, I have a warranty on the laptop, so that won't cost me anything. I like to visit different places, not just, you know, places that we are used to seeing. So, this is good. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Everything's extremely well cared for. I mean, look at this grass. Look at that, it looks like it's painted on. It's beautiful. Compared to where we just spent almost the last two weeks, this is like being at Disney World. Yeah. It all looks so perfect that it almost looks fake. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we're on the set of a movie. We just don't know it. What was that, the Truman Show where everything was fake? What happened to, to get to Hollywood somehow? And none of well, this is real? Maybe we'll have to do that because it's not too far away. No. I guess now that we're in California, we weren't really planning on it, but since we're here, we might as well take advantage of it. Lots to see, especially those mountains all around us. How do you pronounce that? Uh, it's Yelena Bulatova. So that's Russian, and I love the robots. <laughs> They're super cool. They look like transformer robots. Pretty funny. A bunch of trash and Legos stuck into concrete. feeling safe around this guy. All right, we're back right before our Apple appointment. So we're gonna go check in. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting in line. We are far less involved, per se, as this. We wanted to buy some. Back corner. Back corner. Back All right, so we did the Apple thing. We dropped off the laptop. We waited in line with the security guards with all the dots that you have to stand on. And I was kicked out of the store because I was with him. They told me, they asked me to leave the store, even though somehow they, they allowed me in and I stood there for half of the Yeah, the like I think I was in there 20 minutes. She was, was in there, there for 10. For 10 minutes. And then I had the guard asking me to leave because... They can't have, there was too many people on one side of the store. Yeah, and I feel like um, Apple takes it to an extreme. Yeah. Um, I, I like their, their products. I'm not a huge fan of the company itself, but uh, that was a rather bad experience. They were yeah. late taking us in. Granted, now today was their first day open we since last year. Yeah. When we called around yesterday to find an appointment, 
Um, all the other places were like one to two weeks out in terms of trying to book an appointment. And that was in Arizona and Texas. And this place was had availability today. And now I realize why is because they were just opening. So we got lucky to get it in. Um, but the, the having two security guards shuffle everyone around and they always remind you to stand farther away from each other. And like I get all that, but it's just a little too military or prison like it was not a comfortable experience at all. But in the meantime, we'll use the iPad to make videos, which we're gonna make this video on that iPad tonight, actually, because we lost the entire week of work that we did already on the previous video. We still have all the footage from Quartzsite, plus we got a really cool interview with Jared Sun from Stable Camper, and- Marcus. From... And this guy, Marcus, he's the president of Kingstar Campers. That's a really cool camper. I really can't wait to show you guys that, but uh, I'm gonna need to wait till I get my laptop back to finish those. All right, back on the road. Back on the road. There's some boondocking spots like a half an hour from here up in the mountains. So we're going to go check some of those out and maybe we can show you what we find if we get there before dark. So we've decided to go boondock up in those mountains and we're going to take a road. We don't know exactly what it's going to be like, but hopefully it's drivable for us. That is an old Studebaker, it's beautiful. The sun's getting low and the shadows on those hills are pretty impressive. It's beautiful out here. Dirt road. This is all dispersed camping, and we can basically just choose any pull off we want to park in. Um, looks like there's a van in the place that we chose, but we'll just keep driving until we find something we like. And it looks like we have decent cell service, which is important for watching YouTube, which is a nightly ritual for us. Making YouTube and then watching YouTube. This is yes. what we do. So hopefully tonight we can make the video and then we can post it and uh, then we can watch YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. really fast and it's been pretty hot today but but I'm already cold and it's been like a minute of the sun behind the mountain so as soon as it disappears the fast. temperature drops and this place is really cool unfortunately it's full of trash and like bullet shells and broken glass that's like, fine I guess people come up here and have fun it's a free place to camp but it's a shame the way it is right now just dirty so I think that's it for this video um, we still have the other videos coming but Kind of not this week, but that's our that's our day of dropping my laptop off <laughs> and doing a giveaway and a giveaway. So one more time with the rules for the giveaway: leave the name of the shirts along with the colors that you want in a comment, and also include hashtag Stony Boot 4K giveaway. 
and we will do a random selection this time next week. Yeah. And uh, good luck to everyone. And we just wanted to say that for legal purposes, this giveaway is not affiliated with YouTube and has nothing to do with it with anything except for us. Or any social media or anyone else. This is all us this time. It's all us. No one else except for us. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, as usual, leave them down in the comments. Yeah. And if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Th thumbs up? Give us a thumbs up. And also let us know if you notice any difference with the video this week since we're going to be making it very shortly on the iPad. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.